Hey guys, it's Chief from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2018 video, and welcome to episode number two of Pimp My Card. Today, I wanted to do something special for Elliot Productions. If you haven't seen my All Plus 10 Twins team yet, make sure to check it out after you're done watching this video. But Elliot helped me a lot in the process of making that team. So I wanted to do something nice for him and make him a plus 10 Arizona Diamondback. Now, Paul Goldschmidt, insanely expensive. Zach Greinke, really expensive. Archie Bradley, still pretty expensive. Not saying I won't make more expensive players down the line, but eventually when Elliot most likely gets the card I make for him, he's going to have to spend coins. I didn't want him to be on the hook for too many coins, but I also wanted to make him a nice card. So who did I end up making? I ended up making Patrick Corbin. A 66 overall, base price just under a million. For his plus 10, ended up being around 100 million. He has a good price, he has good stats, a nice pitch mix. He's building two teams. He has an Aaron Nola Road to Glory team, and he has his squad, which is all 2018 players. Certainly, he has a bunch of live special edition players, but I thought... You know, he could use this Corbin one way or another. So let's make it, test it out on him, and then hopefully give it to him. The name of the game for today, I wanted to give a pretty basic challenge. One that I thought would be pretty easy to complete. But also, there'd be something that Elliot would have to do to earn the card. So what I said, I told him it was going to be a super easy challenge, but he wasn't going to know what it is. All he has to do is get a hit, and I'll give him the plus 10 Patrick Corbin. So now we'll jump into the gameplay. We're just going to show the pitching because it's about Patrick Corbin. It's not about the random offense I had behind Patrick Corbin. So we'll take a quick look at Elliott's Road to Glory lineup, which he is using in this video. A lot of plus fours. That Reese Hoskins is his only really dangerous hitter. But we have to face A.J. Pollock to lead off. He'll take strike one on the two-seamer up and in. I will go a change up low and away, and it's hit on the ground to the first baseman, Joey Votto, who flips it to Corbin for out number one. Now we're facing a plus four Bryce Harper. Pretty good hitting stats for a base card. We're going to go slider up and in, try to get a quick first strike. He fouls it off. Okay. Okay. We'll go same location, but a four seam fastball, see if we can get him to chase. He will not chase. So we now have a 1-1 count. We go curveball, low and in. He fouls it off. So we now have a 1-2 count. We're going to go slider. Try to fake like it's a curveball up and in and see if he'll chase. But he will not. So it's a 2-2 count. We'll go a change up low and away. Try to get him to chase. But we missed a bit low to begin with. So now it's a full count. We go to the two-seamer at the knees, see if he takes it, which he will for strikeout number one. We now have two outs in the top of the seventh, and we get to face a plus three Manny Machado. And we're going to start this at bat off with a two-seam fastball up and away. Get him to swing through for strike one. We're going to go a change up low and in, mix up locations. Got him to swing for strike two. So now we'll go a curveball low and across the middle of the plate. He does not take it, and that's ball one. So one, two pitch. I'm going to go a slider, similar location, see if he'll take it. And he will foul that one off. So still a one, two count. Got him to chase the changeup, ground out to the pitcher. So we have a one, two, three, top of the seventh. We're now on to the eighth. I get to face his plus nine, Reese Hoskins, his best batter by far. Two seam fastball in there for strike one. It's good to get ahead of the difficult hitters. He won't chase the two seam fastball, so we fall behind to a 1 1 count. Now the 1 1 pitch swings through the four seam fastball for strike two. I had one, two. We're going to try to bury the curveball. Get him to chase or hit weak contact, but he won't chase. It's now a 2-2 two, two count. I still have a ball to work with, but I'm going to try to get the two-seam fastball at the knees. 
and boom, once again, I get the pitch. Strikeout number two, striking out the most difficult battery that I anticipate facing this game. Now against Mookie Butts, I'm going to start off with a slider low that should cut across the plate, and he chases it for strike one. Two-seam fastball up and in is what we're going with here. Boom, strike two. I'm going to go curveball low and in on the 0-2 count. And he takes it for ball one once again. Another 1-2 count. We're going to go the changeup low, see if that will fool him at all. And it fools him enough. A grounder to first. And Vado flips it easily to Corbin for the out. There's two outs now in the eighth inning. We're facing Gary Sanchez, his catcher. Going to go up and in with the two-seam fastball. He seems to take that for strike one, so I'm going to throw it for strike one. Now the 0-1 count will try to fool him with the curveball. Grounder too short, barehanded, and on to Vado at first for three out. So we head to the ninth. Still have not given up a base runner. Elliott looking for a hit to earn the Patrick Corbin. And oh my goodness, I make a mistake to Nolan Arenado with the overthrown slider. But he doesn't hit it well enough. My A.J. Pollock is there for the grab in center field for a quick and scary out number one. Now facing DJ LeMahieu. We're gonna jam him in with the slider, mix it up a little bit, and it works to perfection with the line out to short. Now one out away from a perfect game with Patrick Corbin. Strike one in there against Eric Hosmer. We're gonna bring the two seamer up and in. He takes it for ball one. Very interesting. I'm going to go low and in, four-seam fastball. Try to get him to expect break that's not there. He swings. He misses. One-two count. Curveball low, breaking towards the outer part of the plate. Grounded to third. Matt Carpenter fields and throws. There we go. A perfect game with Patrick Corbin. Shows just how powerful a plus 10 base card can be against a full squad of plus fours, basically. Great game to Elliott Productions. Now, he didn't get a hit, so he technically shouldn't get the card, but I'm feeling like a nice guy. I'm going to give him the card anyways. And to be honest, he's done a lot for me building the plus 10 Twins team, so I sent it over his way. There will be a screenshot or two just so you guys can see that it happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2018 content. In the comments, let me know who you want to see me pimp out from a plus one base card to a plus 10 base card for episode three. But that's all for this video, guys. MG from Skull Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, peace out.